Hi, betting experts. On Tuesday, February the 20th, we're off down to deeper Somerset to Taunton on Tuesday, a competitive card. The ground, well, at the time of recording, it's soft, heavy in places, and there is weather around, but Taunton can dry out very quickly, so if they miss the worst of it, it'll probably only be sort of softish, certainly compared to the rest of the country. We start off with our betting expert, Daily Nap, sponsored by Bet365. This goes in the 310. It's the Weatherby's nhstallions.co.uk handicap chase, a two-mile seven class four for five-year-olds and upwards six and a half grand to the winner and i'm going to give another chance here to mumbo jumbo of emma lavelle now emma's been a bit quiet in the last couple of weeks no winners from 11 runners but most of them have been running to form and there's no doubt that mumbo jumbo is extremely well treated off 117 if he can bounce back to his best he's given his running once this season it came at exeter over this kind of trip on softish ground at the end of november he finished third behind enjoy your life shaping really well now there have been two disappointments since I think you can excuse them. I suspect the run might have come a bit soon when he was pulled up behind top of the bill in a very strong race back at Exeter on the 21st of December. And last time at Lingfield, well, he just didn't stay three mile five. That is a cross out line. You don't have to go back that far to see that he's really well treated here. He ran a screamer over this course and distance on the 30th of March 2023 when second behind the very well handicapped Halden Hill. A repeat of that form back at Taunton for the first time since. I think you'll see him go very close. He's had 30 days off to freshen up, and this small field should really suit him. Our betting expert value angle selection, sponsored by Bet365, goes in the 340. It's the Weatherby's Cheltenham Festival betting guide handicap hurdle. Two mile and 104 yards, class three, four-year-olds and upwards. Nearly seven and a half grand to the winner, and I like Celtic Art here from the excellent Jeremy Scott yard. Now, Celtic Art is a lightly raced performer, but he's got a good strike rate over hurdles. Eight runs, three wins. Um, they all come on ground with a bit of cut in it. Good to soft, probably his optimum condition. So he'd be hoping things do dry out. He was a good winner at Lingfield from a mark of 117 back in November. That came beat in the first time cheek pieces beating Zambezi Fix, who has franked the form several times since. Two disappointments afterwards. Think the run came too soon at Newbury. He actually ran well at Wing Canton on ground that was probably really heavy, just getting tired behind all Rigney Mill. That's meant he's come down a pound. He's quite well treated on the pick of his form. I think he's He's got a chance to lead on his own here under Rex Dingle, freshened up after 70 days off and the Jeremy Scott Yard back in really good form after a quiet time of things over Christmas. Best of luck on Tuesday, betting experts, and please remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos.